Hi everybody, welcome back to Troy's View. Um, I've taken a lot, a lot of time off. Um, if you haven't watched the other video um, of my wise cam, I had a baby, my third, and so took some time off. Um, they grow fast. He's already six months and he's massive. Digress. We're gonna talk about wise and the new RTSP functionality that you don't need the beta app to actually use. So they updated the app, they updated the firmware, and I'm gonna show you how to get this on an actual Google device. I know that was a lot of questions, or a lot of uh, the questions that came through was, okay, can I put this on a Google device, my Google Hub, my Google Home, or whatever it's called, my uh, Chromecast? The answer is yes. Now, this isn't the official integration. They wanted that done by Q1, which is January, February, March, Q1, first quarter. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna get finished until maybe Q2 or Q3, just depending on their, the issues that they're having. So this is a workaround and it's very simple. It's not even that many steps. So I'm gonna show you how to get this beautiful camera live stream onto your Google devices in a few steps. Um, and there's a step in particular that takes three to four minutes for the firmware to adjust because you actually have to get physical with it. Not just updating on your phone, you have to plug it in. I'll, I'll explain it in a minute, but it takes three to four minutes. And as that updates, what I'm gonna do is update you on what's going on with this channel and kind of what's been going on with, uh, with me, with all the creativity that's happening. So some exciting news to share. So with that, let's get started. All right, the link that you're looking at on this webpage will be in the description. This is how you get the RTSP file. And it's actually pretty simple. These are the actual instructions that we will follow. I'll just simplify it for us. All you need to do is click on this link if you have a Cam V2 or this link if you have a Cam Pan. If you have a version one, it's not going to work. I'm sorry, just buy a new one, they're cheap. I mean, 20 bucks, maybe you'll, I don't know, whatever, figure it out. <laughs> just. Yeah, I digress. So you click on this button, you're gonna download it. From there, you're gonna see this zip folder. The simple, the steps are pretty simple. Double click and you're gonna get a bin. All you need to do is rename that bin to demo. That's it. Now your SD card, once it's in your computer or your driver, however you do it, this is what's gonna look like in your WiseCam folder structure, your root folder, I guess I'll call it, whatever, I'm tired. All you're gonna do is copy or drag this into this folder. Now I already have it in there since I already done this before, but that's it. You literally unzip, rename, drag and drop, and then you're done. Then you can go ahead and get rid of that, eject it, and we'll be able to put that into our Wisecam for the next step. All right, so the card is in and we're all happy. Now all you need to do is hold down the power button and as that's pressed in, plug it in. Now it's gonna be tricky since I'm filming. Let's see if I can do it on the first try. The light will turn on. Keep the button pressed down until it changes color, just like that. Now it's gonna take about three to four minutes. It's gonna cycle on and off maybe a few times, just depends. And then the light will start blinking when it's ready to roll and we'll take it from there. But as this updates the firmware automatically or manually, what we're going to do, or what I'm gonna do, is update you on what's going on with our channel. Awesome. So as that loads, um, or updates, I'm just gonna update a little bit about what's going on with the channel and kind of what's going on with me in general. So the channel is supposed to be this creative thing that I just wanted to escape and just create little tutorials and, and you know, creative projects. Um, but then I had a kid and a lot of other stuff happened, so, Good stuff. I just came back from Africa, which was amazing. It's my second time going. This time I was teaching a data literacy course or a workshop for three days in Kasumu, Kenya for a little lake, a little uh, tech hub called Lake Hub, who specifies, um, specializes in training young entrepreneurs, school kids even, in becoming more um, focus on technology and innovation and entrepreneurial skills, leadership skills and, and coding development. I mean, you name it. They specialize in a lot of stuff. Look them up, descriptions in there, give them some love, show them some love. It's what they're doing is phenomenal. Um, but it was a great workshop on data literacy and data visualization and analytics and stuff like that. Um, I know I have a, a data or um, a creative channel, but all I do every day is data for my job and stuff. 
Uh, which leads me to another thing I've been doing, which is my data course on D3. So I make courses for Pluralsight. I kind of work there too. Um, but you know, Pluralsight. And I'll leave a, a link in the description to my author page. But um, so I started making a lot of creative courses for them as I worked for them in the past. And then those got old and they retired and I got more involved with data. And now I'm making data courses. So I have a couple data visualization, storytelling type of courses. And I'm wrapping one up right now on D3, which is a very fun course to build. And the last thing, this one's kind of exciting, which I can't tell you much about yet, is... I'm making my first ever story. My I'm authoring, I can't even talk. I'm authoring and illustrating my first story for my kids. And it's a concept that's never been done. I mean, I've been searching forever to find it. Can't, so I know it's original. Um, once the project gets up and running, I'll actually do a video on it. Or maybe I'll do a video on all these things. Who knows? Maybe you want to learn data. I'll teach you that too. Anywho, I'm going to make a video on this kid book. And so hopefully what is going to happen is it's going to become a book and then I'll create another project for it and it's going to turn into an app or a game. So don't quote me on that. That's my goal. So I'll create a video and keep you updated because this book is going to rock. I've never seen anything like it. I was debating if I wanted to share a little bit about it. But then I was like, I don't want it getting copied. I don't know how that works with your creative work. Um, I just don't want the idea getting stolen. I'd rather have it more fleshed out. The designs and everything's there. It's beautiful. I'll share it with you guys later. Um, yeah, but sounds like the looks like the light is blinking and we are ready to roll to finish up this wise camera. All right. Now everything is set up. We love it. Everything's good to go. You may notice that your camera, if you already have an existing camera, will show up like mine is Troy's view. However, what we need to do is click on the three dots and set up a new camera because if I click on Troy's view right now, nothing is going to happen. It's just going to load for a long time. So just set up a new one and follow the prompt. So go to the three dots, click on add a product, go to wise cam or if you have a pan and just follow the prompts like you would put in your Wi-Fi information, don't look at my password, I'm sneaky. And then look at the QR code, scan that like you normally would do, and then you should all be set up. Write your name and you're done. So click into the camera and what you're gonna do is go to advanced settings. From there, go down to RTSP and turn it on if it's off. Now, once you click on that, you're gonna go to a new section and you're gonna see this. Now, I'm gonna regenerate mine so you can see, you just click on username, type it in, click on password, type that in. If you're gonna to try to steal this, you can't because I already <laughs> created a new one. So don't be creepy or sneaky. So I'm gonna put in my password and I'm gonna hit generate URL and it's gonna create an RTSP URL. Now what I'm gonna do is take that URL and put it in to Google Chrome. And what's gonna happen is it's going to prompt VLC. If you've already done it before, VLC will just automatically launch. If not, you'll see that prompt. So once VLC launches, you can just go to playback after you see yourself and it's kind of meta. Go to playback, go down to renderer, and you're gonna see all your casting options. I'm just gonna go ahead and cast to my TV, and let's go ahead and see if that actually works. All right, well, that completely worked, so I'm pretty excited about it. Again, all we did is he updated it. We did a manual firmware, firmware update by taking the RTSP zip file, unzipping it, renaming it, dropping it into the SD card, placing that SD card in here, manually updating it by hitting the button, doing a few tricky things there, because um, it's kind of hard to plug in and hold the button down for three to four seconds. Um, and then all we did was literally launch it, create the RTSP URL, which launched, or put it into Google Chrome, which launched VLC, and then voila render it wherever you want to render it to so yeah that is how you take a wise cam and place it on for now a google device so until next time thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it go ahead and click like if you want to subscribe go ahead and do that too and we'll have more videos for you soon